all right hello folks welcome back to today's episode another go at the city r and another game in the europa conference league two uh bit of games off camera uh last time out i believe i would have shown you fk tirana and uh fc and fiorentina games so we saw that atlanta we beat 2-1 lovely First loss of the season coming in the Europa League against Guamirias as well, which um, not exactly ideal, but we do have the chance to hopefully correct that wrong today. I'm not too sure what went wrong. I mean, the team was relatively strong. Um, I guess just the goalkeeper was probably not at this position, maybe. I don't know. I can't quite remember exactly what went wrong in that, but either way. Um, I know they did score pretty bloody early on, and then it was a draw, and then, yeah, scored in the 39th minute, and that was it. Uh, but then here we go. We couldn't turn it around. It's a loss, but we can hopefully get revenge today. Anyway, follow that up. 2-0 victory over Lazio. Lovely. And then a 3-0 victory over Sampdoria. So even better stuff going on. Why are you rejecting my affiliates? We already have enough affiliates. Um, do we? Because uh, if we just go here and we just click on AC Milan, we just have just have a look at the affiliates there. Too many, do we? Too many affiliates. One, one is too many. I'm going to discuss this with the board. Recruit foreign youngsters, and we do not feel the looking abroad is a necessary approach. Um, Check that no shit. All right, okay. Due to the club. Okay, we'll just say that it was for the financial situation. Like we are seventy-one million dollars in the hole. We do still have twenty-two million on the um, budget, though. So with January coming up, I mean, I don't feel like we need massive recruitments, but sure, we'll have a look. We'll see what's going on. Antonio Conte seems overawed. Overawed by the sense of the... What? What did he say? I hope not. A manager of his ability would be feeling... I just hope that... You seem very confident. Yes. Um, I'm not going to be a tough opponent. No. Yeah, there we go. Question. Uh, sure, yeah. I'm not going to be drawn into those silly games right now from the media. Uh, let's. And questions Conte's desire. Look at that performance review. A. Delighted to win the Serie A much earlier than expected. Oh. If we go to. Where is it? Here? No. Can't be there. There. Work towards winning it. Work towards winning it. They don't, they don't want me to win it till four to five years in the future. Like, we're only supposed to be qualifying for the Champions League this season. So, yeah. If we can hurry up and get to two the game against Inter, that would be perfect. Really looking forward to this. Should be a, um, should be a good game. If we can get there... Apparently, it's taken a bit. Sure, we'll use the suggested squad for now. We'll pick that up later because it's only it's only friendlies at the moment for the USA, so I'm really not too bothered. Give some randos a start and just give them a uh, a few caps for the national team. They love it. There's really no one coming through, though, that's like a... There's really no, like, wonder kids. There's no golden generation or anything that are coming through for the U.S. men's national team, which is kind of sad, as I really want there to be, but there's not. Okay, looks like the team has pretty much been picked for me, apart from the obvious change there. We will go with... Uh, will we? I'm the sucker... And we'll go with that. Let's do it. So, 
Donal Rimmer starts in goal, obviously pretty much nailed in to start unless he's injured. For Skagley on the left, Fernandez, Mancini and Juan Bissaka. You've got Koulibaly, Gildarade, Bushi, Ize, Lemoyne and Corioni up top. Mancini's lacking a bit of fitness, but that's fine. He'll be fine. We've got enough players on the bench you can put two. You've got at least... Um, I've got plenty of midfielders. I've got plenty of um, defenders on the bench. I've got one. I've got two centre backs, another left back, another right back, a few midfielders. I've got another winger on both sides, and then I've got another striker or two. So we're pretty, pretty solid on the bench. Um, here we go. We are into five points behind us. We are three points clear above Roma, who are in second, obviously. And, yeah, they've got a decent enough, they's decent looking team. Obviously, um, they do have the advantage having beaten uh, AC Milan while I was not the coach um, multiple times. So, we'll see, because we are still unbeaten in um, in the Serie A this season. And then it would be a shame to lose it uh, to a side that are our rivals. Saying that, I say we are the home side, but really both of the teams play in the same stadium, so it's not exactly like we have too much of an advantage, right? Oh, there we go. Enrique Bushi. What a legend. Puts us 1-0 up eight and a half minutes in. You love to see it. Koulibaly gets it into Eze. Back to Eze. Gilderade just whips the cross in and Bushi gets it, strikes it low and little bolly. And I don't know how the goalkeeper didn't get it, but we'll take that. All right, not a lot is uh, happening, apparently. Uh, we haven't done anything for some time. This is the first highlight since the goal. 63 minutes in, it's already been half time. Literally had no highlights, so see what happens there brilliant defense there cutting out the pass Scrinia still there great interception from Koulibaly he's on the attack now goes in for a slide challenge he can't do it Koulibaly oh he's could have gone all the way he could have scored we're going to quickly make a few substitutions uh, there's a few players that are looking a little bit a little bit tired Eric Lemoyne being one of them so Lehigh will go there. Arnis, probably for Gilrade. Don't know whether we take off Izzy or Bushi. Probably Bushi for Pulisic, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll make the subs. Three of them are coming on. There's not too long to go. Izzy can stick it out. Pulisic could probably do with the game time to get himself match fit again. So that would be lovely. The, you know, Enrique Fernandez is one yellow card away from suspension. And that's fine. We can live without him, to be fair. Um, no more highlights at all. Should we go positive? Just going to be a, an easy snatching snatching win sort of thing no, we'll ignore that that's why the video's taken a knock there's only five minutes to go should be all right there's a scaggly now gives it up to enrique fernandez goes straight to the keeper he's gonna save it and what are we gonna do they're gonna launch a counter attack good on you mancini for getting that out into our niece back to is a niece into eric lahai oh Get in. Oh, it's, I always calls him Eric. It's Isaac. Isaac Lahai. We have won the game. I mean, that was a fantastic sliding tackle from Nico there because it gave us straight the ball. And what a what a shot that was! Rifles off the crossbar and the side. And it's a great little great goal. It did cross the line. 2-0 to AC Milan. Fantastic result, I must say. 
2-0 victory over our rivals. And that continues our uh, fantastic run of form, being undefeated in Serie A. I am going to say outstretched arms, a good win. Well done. Very happy with that. What is the fans? Decent result, decent match. On to the next one. Brilliant result, defended well, attacked well, just a brilliant all-around performance. There we go. You love to see it. Roma still uh, on the ball, keeping us, uh, trying to keep up with us, but we've now gone five points clear of them, and uh, apparently they took uh, took us for granted, did they? So Inter still play at the San Siro, I wonder, because I know that there was... Um, This is not what I want. No, they don't. They play at the Giuseppe Misa. Okay, so it's just us that play at the San Siro. I knew there was um, teams moving around. We still play at the San Siro. No one else. That's, uh, that's interesting. Good on us. Good on us. Why not? All right, let's get to this... Uh, Europa Conference League 2 game, and let's do a bit of a revenge. Okay, here we are, going up against Gormerius. Here is the team. It's mainly going to stay the same. A couple, uh, couple of different players are going to come in. We've got Donnarumma starting in goal still. We've got Biscagli, Fernandes. Romero has come in for uh, whoever. Um, Destro is playing instead of one Bissaka. We've got Koulibaly and Gildorati. Still going to play together. You got Pulisic instead of Bushi goes to the bench. Eze and Lemoyne will stay, and we're going to play Davide Filipponi uh, instead of Corioni, who just drops down to the bench. Sotini has unfortunately got an injury. He's out for about four to five weeks, so yeah, we will not see him um, unfortunately. But Humphus, I say, uh, we owe our Guamiras off the last time. Definitely do. We need to win this game if we want any chance of finishing as uh, the top team in our group, which we definitely do. But maybe Cormiers are just a uh, too tough an opponent for us, perhaps. Um, they seem. Oh no, there we go. Kula Bale on the run. Eze gets it up to Filipponi. What can he do? He's he's made. He's gone for the shot, and it was a. Bloody good one as well. He worked the keeper. So that's good to see. Obviously, we will be tied on points. Um, should we win this? And, ooh, Davide goes close there. Lapone. We equal on points should we beat Quimerius there. And then we just have to um, hope that Zagreb or... Tirana, Tirana, I can't remember what they're called. Tirana, I think, is the other team. Uh, hope that they can hold them to a draw at the very least, and then we can finish top. So uh, I think we'll finish top either way. Uh, if, as long as we win here, I think we finish top just on goal difference alone because uh, ours is definitely going to be higher. But yeah, KF Tirana. Just need uh, Zagreb to hold Gormeri's to a draw. I thought it would actually be Zagreb that would be a bit better than uh, Gormeri's, but clearly not. Um, I'm obviously wrong, and clearly my tactics are wrong against this uh, this club as well because we're not we're not doing anything. So we're going to chuck on positive. I'm going to encourage the boys try and actively seek out a goal. And we'll see what we can do. Eric Lemoyne now. Oh. It was a decent chance. It would have been a fantastic goal had it gone in. Um, five shots, one on target compared to their two shots, zero on target. It's been a very boring game. I think we might need to uh, change the instructions and work the ball into the box, run at their defense, especially for the second half. We might even have to... Play for set pieces. You see Zagreb's already up 3-0, so we need to uh, tell the boys that we believe in them and that they've got the... Uh, they are the difference makers. 
There's players in the team that are the different make, difference makers. And we want to get first because I want an easier... Um, actually, no, I believe it's a buy. I believe that it's a buy if you finish top and then you get into the round afterwards, which I think should be the round of 16 or second knockout leg, as they call it. I'm not 100% sure on the names, but yes, I would prefer the one less or two uh, less games, to be fair, as um, a bit worried there with that cross, but somewhat being dealt with. And uh, no, we haven't managed to get the ball, unfortunately. I am going to go on attacking, and I'm going to tell the boys to play for some set pieces. Let's see if, um, if that does anything for us. Probably not. It's Koulibaly with a fantastic interception, just dings it into Lemoyne, who fortunately hasn't done too much today. We're going to make a couple of changes. I'm going to bring on Corioni. I'm going to bring on um, Cy Cyrakos. I think we'll keep those two just there for now. I think we might need to bring on our... Oh, I don't know if our niece is on the bench for Gilderade, actually. And a draw here, while it's not the worst result, it will definitely be hindering our chances of the top spot, as we would need them to lose their next two games. There's Lemoyne now. There we go. That's what I like to see from Eric. Come on, the big man. Tied at the top. We should be cleared by goal difference. We've only conceded a couple. Um, sure, we'll do that change. There we go. We're a couple of goal difference ahead. And there we go. Martell, I'm not quite used to playing um, as a deep line playmaker, but we'll make it work for the last uh, 10 minutes or so. Can we get that? Pulisic has got it into Eze. Can't find anyone back to Koulibaly. Finds its way to Biscagli. Back to Eze. Can we find something? Is Koulibaly going to launch a rocket? Lemoyne now. It's going to give it up to Biscagli. And Eric Lemoyne. Great assist from Oliver. And he's just... Poof. I don't even know how, whether he headed that or just like bodied it in. I couldn't quite tell. It was a bit of a, a, bit of a mess. Let's have a wee look. A 2-0 victory. It's fantastic. It takes a couple of touches. He's oh, wide open at the back post and just phew, with his foot right in there. Good revenge, this. 2-0. That's what we needed to do. Can we make it 3, though? Eric Lemoyne was just shooting for fun, and uh, he's managed to score two. So, eventually, if you just keep shooting, um, you will score, according to the uh, exploits of Eric. But Luke Hay now. Luke? Luke? I don't know how you want to say it. I assume it's Luke. And uh, that's gone over. Should be four minutes of added time, and it should be... Fantastic result for us. A 2-0 victory. Good revenge. They beat us 2-1. So there we go. We kept a clean sheet and we continue our running form. That was a good win for us. It definitely was. Now, as long as we can keep up with uh, the other teams and we don't mess up against Tirana or Zagreb, I think we are good. And we can skip the next round and bring home a trophy. Even if it is only the Europa Conference League. Let's have a Louis look. Let's uh, Europa Conference League. Holders are AFC Bournemouth of all people who managed to finish 8th in the Premier League last season. And okay, so they came up, literally, they came up straight back after they got relegated. 2nd, 15th, 17th, 16th, 9th, 9th. Three consecutive years of finishing 9th. Finish 15th, and they finish 6th, and then 8th. And Brendan Rodgers is their manager. Who's this hot prospect of theirs? A Greek midfielder. Looks pretty decent. And they've got key players. Uh, oh, my God. Rue Roy De Silva. He looks fantastic. 138 mil. Bloody hell. How did Bournemouth have that? 
they in the Champions League or you're, they're in the Europa League? Are they doing all right? Oh, the top. Wow. Fair enough to Bournemouth, eh? Good on them. So, past winners. Let's have a look. So, Monaco were the first team to win it. They beat Batiste. Bill Bow won it, beating Gink. Brighton and Hove Albion won it, beating Standard Liège. Feyenoord over Marseille, AZ over Rangers. Feyenoord again won it. Arsenal's won it over Atlanta. Wolves over PSV. Then Bournemouth won it over Lazio. So, no Italian team has won it, and uh, we should be the first. Last three victories belong to... Uh, all English teams, clearly, and then Feyenoord clearly are pretty decent as they've won it two seasons in a row. Oh, if you have a look, yes, haha. You can see four English teams have won it in total, which is fair enough. One Spanish, one French team. Then it went, yeah, Eredivisie, three Dutch teams, then three English teams. Funny. Um, yeah, pretty sure we could, we could win that. that. That's definitely something that we could do. Okay, where do we want to come back, folks? Um, I think I'll play the next three games. Bologna, however this team is. Um, Salentana, Calcio, never heard of them. Um, and then I'll play Zagreb as well. And then we'll play Udinese and Pescara in the next episode. So, yeah, why not? That's it from me. Thanks a ton for watching, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to comment. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.